Okay. Going through all that. And off. All the pellets off. And I want to give you gas money. Okay. Uh, make sure it's full lean. Oh yeah, that's one more thing. Um, if you touch those pedals, that's going to affect the airplane. Oh, you can't even reach them, so that's good. <laughs> um, I heard of a, a time when someone was landing and then they just went like right it, all of a sudden just like towards off the runway and they didn't, you couldn't figure out what it was. Oh, it was They the... figured out that it was the friend. They were trying to adjust back up in their seat and oh. they pushed on the pedals. <laughs> so, oh, not good. Yeah, that was no luck at all. Clear prop! Master on. Beacon on. Give it some fuel. Should be enough. Then we've got our start plane. I can hear you. Get the weather. Clear. Temperature zero two Celsius. Dew point minus zero six Celsius. Altimeter three zero two two. Remarks. Density altitude minus eight hundred. Lawrence Municipal Airport, Lawrence, Kansas. Automated weather observation one four zero two Zulu. Wind one seven zero at zero six. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature zero. All right. Yeah, it's this is much nicer than if we had done this later in the day. Yeah, I'm more of a nerd person. You might put that uh, microphone really close to your lips because it'll cut out if it's not. Okay. Right up against it. Let's go ahead. Get our radios set for Forbes. Which we are. Atus is one, two, eight, five, and our tower is one, two, zero, eight. Now our altimeter is three, zero. Okay. Set this guy here, three, zero, two. 830 feet, that's about right. Uh, yep. Here. Radio speed is on, squawking VFR, radio test. Good. Taxi lights are on. Test our brakes. They are good. Attitude indicator is good. Turn coordinator is good. HSI to compass, okay. So the compass says we're a little west. So I'll change this to match. Alright. Sounds good. We are going to taxi to runway 19, so I'm going to make that radio call. Large traffic system at 99 Hotel Victory is taxiing to runway 19 via Alpha Lawrence. What's that mean? Uh, it just hasn't picked up the, the GPS yet. Okay. It usually doesn't, uh, pick up until we're out there somewhere. But while we're texting here, I'll go ahead. F. O. Uh, 
That's bright. It's very bright. Sunglasses. Yeah. I should probably should have worn mine. Yeah, maybe since you're flying. <laughs> Fortunately, we'll be going that way first. So hopefully the sun will rise up a bit more before we come back. I guess we don't have to hope for that. That's pretty much a given, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Very clear both ways. What bird do you think that is? An owl? No, that's like a chicken hawk. Huh. That's what I call it. Face almost looks like a sparrow to me, but the rest of it doesn't. Well, could it be like a golden eagle? Could be. No, yes. I don't doubt that they finally went away. Clear both ways. Come to a stop short of the runway here. Our run up. Make make sure the uh, you know engine running properly. Or before we take off, that's important. <laughs> Brakes, fuel is both. Trim is take off. Uh, flight controls doing what they're supposed to be doing. Our alert. Emergency lights work. Instruments looking good. Okay, we'll run up the engine. Test our magnetos. That one's good. That one's good. Those must be new. Vacuum pressure is good. Amps and volts. Oops. Good. Uh, what else we got here? I'm gonna. Oil temperature rising. Pressure's good. All right. Cut to idle. That's good. Get flaps in. All oh, this is good. Got our doors and windows shut. Yep. All right. Transmitting on the right frequency, there's no air traffic around us, but we'll still make a call. Large traffic Skyhawk 99 Hotel Victor is taxiing onto runway 19 for a departure to the west, Lawrence. We don't see any airplanes landing over there, so we're good to enter. Give it full throttle. Our airspeed is alive. And rotate. Clear of all obstacles. We'll take our flaps up. We've got our climb rate, or climb speed. I don't know if you can see over the hood right now, no. but we've got a uh, campus right there in front of us. Ah, uh, yeah, I see.
turn to the west. So if you can see right over here is Mass Street. You got the bridge that leads into Mass Street. Oh yeah. Then you can see Memorial Stadium right there in campus. And we'll probably get to fly uh, fly over it on our way back so you can be on that side. Cool. Feels like we're not moving. I know. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, you, you'll see that a lot where the air is really choppy, you know, the first thousand or a thousand yeah. five hundred feet into the air. But then once you get up here, we're now at three thousand feet. It's just smooth. Very nice. Plus, we're fighting the wind here, so we're, our ground speed is only 45 knots, even though we're going uh, uh, 100. Wow. Black traffic, Skyhawk 99 Hotel Victor is departing the airspace to the west. One. That's Clinton Lake over there. Oh, I love Clinton Lake. The years. Huh. Uncle Jeff lost, lost his glasses. Oh, yeah? Back then was a big deal. Oh, do you want to fly the plane, Indy? Sure. All right. I don't know what to do. No, I'm afraid. You're afraid? <laughs> I am. Okay. It's because I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. We can go anywhere. We can turn around, do circles, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> and of course, I won't let you do anything we're not supposed to do. So if you're wanting to go a little closer to yeah, Clinton Lake, you just turn it like that. Oh, it feels scary, man. <laughs> I've got my hands on the controls. Okay, the trailer's number 5454, right down 119. That was me. I'm going to let you. Okay. <laughs> I'm funny with a boat because of that reason. Really? Yeah, I'm afraid of not knowing where I'm going. Oh, yeah. There's no lane for me to stay in. So it's like... Yep. I understand. We'll switch over to Forbes Tower. Start to hear if there's anything going on over there. Yeah, this is the road I take to work every morning. Wow. Right here. And then you see that bend, I take a turn to keep going west, instead of curving up north like it does.
Man, for as much uh, wind we're seeing, we're, it does not feel bumpy at all. No, not but we're, at all. If you notice, we're getting pushed this way from the, from the south, pushing us north. Yeah, so, I'm just a little worried when we started. I thought, wow, this is rough, but... You, uh, yeah, thank you. Crazy. Yeah, it just must be really, really steady wind. So you can see we're kind of facing this way, but we're yeah. going that way. <laughs> kind of like snorkeling when it's super... The yeah. currents are... Yeah. Oh, yeah. We tried one time. <laughs> the fish were even going... <laughs> and now I understand why there's a height requirement for flying. Well, what do you mean? Well, I can't see. Oh, yeah. It's too short. Well, there's actually, uh, it's a pain to do, but there's a little thing that you can oh, uh, yeah. raise your seat up. And when Allie wanted to do the Air Force, they told her she was too small. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah. Grab the weather over there. Well, one two eight point two five. Yeah, that's what I'm at. Huh? That's weird. I guess I'll just uh, I'll let the controller know I didn't get the weather. Uh, I'm gonna make that call now. Port Tower Cessna 99 Hotel Victor is 12 miles to the west, uh, inbound for landing. I couldn't get the weather uh, on Aegis. 99 Hotel Victor, from Charger, runway 21, clear to land. Winds 19015, skies better than 5005, altimeter 3018. Zero. And Clark Tower, what, uh, cleared to land on what runway? 21. Uh, cleared to land, runway 21, altimeter 3018, Skyhawk 99 Hotel Victor, thank you. 21. Yep, okay, that's what I figured they'd send us on. So this thing connects uh, with our, uh, this piece of equipment here sends our location out to other uh, airplanes so they can see where we're at, but it also sends the information it gets from other airplanes to my iPad. So I can actually see, hey, over at that airport over there, there's an airplane that's uh, 1,800 feet below us. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's very, very helpful. And the, the this Fort Forbes guy must be super, super uh, bored. He gave us a clearance to land and we're 10, 10 nautical miles away. There's just nothing going on over there. But we'll go ahead and start our descent to 2,000 feet. Yeah, it's kind of weird to see how you can just see us drifting yeah. this way. <laughs> so the airport there is about 1,100 feet, so we want to descend to about 2,100 feet. Class Delta in 4.0 miles. Yep. We already got cleared to land, so we're fine. There's 
How's that bumpiness? Not too bad. No. Yeah, this evening would have been much, much worse. Then I'm glad we came this morning. Yeah. It's so easy to fly to Forbes because I literally just follow the path I take to work that's, on the ground. That's fun. Yeah. I had a nice football field at that school. It's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere, it seems like. Yeah. I think it's Shawnee Heights. Potentially. Oh, yeah. I believe that's Lake Shawnee there. Huh. I don't think I know Lake Shawnee. Yeah, it's, it's fairly small. Well, and it's in Topeka? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, this is kind of the outskirts of Topeka right here. I think you can actually see the Capitol building over there somewhere. kind of start to see our runway right there. They've just burned the field it looks like so right where that uh, burnt field it's on one side of the runway and then it's regular grass on the other side. Oh okay. check the, the way that the water is moving on the lake there to confirm the wind's doing what we think it's doing. Yeah. Well, in that way, which is what we thought it was doing, so that's good. Alright, we'll start our descent. Get our trip back to takeoff. Maybe a little less. Alright, we're below 110, our flaps are going down to 10. Two mile final one way two one. Now he didn't ask us to report when we were on a final, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Forbes Tower Skyhawk 99 Hotel Victor is on a two mile final runway two one. Hello, Victor Roger, runway 21, clear lane. Clear your lane, Sky 99, head to the You know, don't have to do that kind of stuff, but it's better to be clear with your communications than 
uh, think that you were issued something that you actually weren't. Need to start slowing down. Two, increasing that drag. I'm gonna hold right around this speed. We'd go slow if it weren't for the winds. Confirm we're on runway two one. Back center. We'll give it full throttle, take off. Wait, sorry, he gave us clear to land. Yeah. Uh, Port Tower Cessna 99 Hotel Victor uh, would like to be cleared for the option. Hotel Victor, clear for the option, runway 821. Clear for the option, runway 821, Hotel Victor. Alright, there we go. fun to see how fast we take off here. With yeah. the, the pressure of the air, it's easier for the airplane to go. Get up. Yep. Forbes Tower, this is an Hotel Victor would like to turn east uh, for departure to the east. Thank you, frequency change improvement on Hotel Vicker. <laughs> he just doesn't want us here. <laughs> He's like, get off my frequency. Like, I, I'm reading my book. Let me, let me go back to my. Right. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right about uh, you know 2,000 feet. It gets very, very calm. Yeah. And we don't have any bumps. Well, it was bumpier taking off in Lawrence. Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Think. I think you know some of those buildings uh, and being close to the river can kind of affect that. here we've got this guy that's kind of off to our uh, 
right, who's only 300 feet above us. That's someone we want to be watching for. Oh, he's descending, so he'll be below us here shortly. Taubin is an entry Quebec showing eight miles out to the east for landing with the uh, eight Bonanza and Entry Quebec, uh, Fort Star Roger, Chef's Country, 12 o'clock, 3 miles northeast bound is a Cessna at 3,000 feet. Alrighty, looking for the traffic, Entry Quebec. Entry runway 21, clear to land. Clear to land 21, Entry Quebec. See, and that's, he gave us a frequency change approval, but I don't like to do that. For instance, it's just like this. Now I know that that guy's looking for us because I heard him. Right. And now he's 500 feet below us, so we're plenty of room. Should get a traffic call out here soon. What? Oh, uh, usually. Do you still up with uh, Forks Tower? Did you frequency change? Uh, I'm with you. I'm uh, looking for traffic. 99 Hotel Victor. Thanks. Traffic's going to pass you on your right there, uh, descending below 2400 feet now. Yep. So it should be a little bit below us to our right. Maybe behind us a bit. Oh, I see him. You do? Yep. Oh, oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah. Alright, now we're well clear of his airspace. We'll switch back to the Lawrence uh, frequency. That's Clinton Lake, right? Yep. Looks like there's something out on Clinton Lake. <laughs> Dang sun, I can't see. Yeah, Where do you... It's in the sun. Oh. Huh. Yes. Now my eyes are watering, I can't see it anymore. Oh, yeah. Someone could be out fishing. Could be, it's kind of cold. Yeah. Wouldn't catch me out there fishing. Have you ever been to Woodridge, uh, the Woodridge Park? No. Right there, um, it's a long, like three mile cam uh, camping sites and uh, trail that goes along the coast. And it's a little oh, peninsula okay. looking thing here. And it's pretty cool if you ever have the chance to go there. I want to camp there at some point, but it is primitive camping, so it's a, you know, a mile or two walk back to the toilet if you need it in the middle of the night. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like a little island. Oh. That's huh. right, because we did like a canoe or something out to. Oh. And then the wind had his glasses on the sty or oh. cooler lid and yeah. it flew off. Huh. Couldn't see without his glasses. Oh. Is that that uh, little pond? 
Oh, Potter's Lake, or Pond? Yeah, no, no, that's not Potter's. Um, I don't know what the name is for that one, but I actually caught a clam in there, a mussel. Oh, yeah. wow. It, I stuck my <laughs> my fishing lure in there, and uh, yeah, I just grabbed it for some reason. Wow. Yeah, it was kind of bizarre. Skyvan traffic, real high, 458, right down with 19, Skyvan. Alright, I'm gonna call out some traffic. Black traffic, Skyhawk, 900 Hotel Victor is 7 miles to the southwest, uh, inbound for landing, 19, Lawrence. Start a descent. Trying to locate campus. Yeah, that's what I was looking for too. Might just fly straight over it actually. Oh yeah, I think we are. Yeah, I think it might be right there. Yeah, I see the the student towers. Or the student living. Now it feels like we're going super fast. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like, <laughs> sky of a traffic, Bill 5458, right base, 19, Sky of a What I'm going to try to do here is once I... Okay, yeah, there's the football field. I'm going to start turning so it'll be on your side. Alright, we are headed straight at it right now. So it should start to appear on your right side. Yes, it is. There you go, there's campus. Oh, I wonder if that's... No, that's not Potter's, Potter's Lake. Potter's right there, yeah. yeah. Looks way smaller up here. Yep. Watch Travis Cessna, 99 Hedgehog Victor is entering a left downwind for runway 19 once. I saw the football field. Yep, and then Mass Street right there. Nice. Which, I'm meeting Allie's friend Catherine at uh, the Roost. Huh? Or the Roast? The Roost. Roost. Yep. If you want to go, we're going to, I won't be there real long, but yeah. get coffee and breakfast. Well, I wouldn't want to, you know, be, <laughs> be in the third wheel with uh, you no, and Allie. No, because um, no, Allie won't be there. Oh, yeah, Allie's friend. And um, I think Gillette will go because your mom, because she's with me. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Luke, Lucas might have told him, too, so. Well, then I'd love to. He's super nice. Yeah, I think I've, uh, I think I know her. I'm not sure. They live out... Oh, they got like a little farm. So it's a little bit of a drive for her to come in, but not yeah. too bad. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Not bad. No, it's not bad. But, you know, we got that very smooth experience just a bit ago. It exactly. contrasts very well. Or yep. Very greatly. Okay. We will put flaps down. About there. Now this approach is always a little uh, cooler to me because the land comes up from the airport so we get pretty close to the trees. Probably really oh, wow. pisses off these neighbors here. <laughs> oh well. Go a little further out. 
Lawrence traffic says 999 Hotel Victor is turning left face runway 19 Lawrence. That way, we'll turn. Our traffic system 999 Hotel Victor is on final runway 19 Lawrence. I always wondered if that thing right there is a hunting tower or what. Oh, yeah. Could be. Yeah, it might be a good place to put one. I'm not a hunter, so I wouldn't know. Either. Alright, we got full flaps. seeing these barns from this angle. It is. Notice this runway is considerably shorter. <laughs> yes. Yeah, with Forbes, we've got those big, heavy KC 135s that need tons of runway. But here, you know, this thing can land on 500 feet of runway, I believe, at uh, the most extreme circumstances. This one, I think, is about 3,000 feet. land very well, Matthew. Thank you. Better than any professional. <laughs> that, might be, that might be a little of a stretch. No, uh, so they, I've had some bad landings. Yeah. Bad. Ooh. Well, today hasn't been too challenging, fortunately. I've had some much worse landings than those. So you, yeah, I guess yeah, I was wondering how the wind would affect you. Oh, but yeah. It didn't seem to bother you. So. Yeah, the wind's not too bad today. Um, you know, it's... Well, let's, let's see what it is. Wind 180 at 06. Yeah, six knots is nothing. But, uh, you know, I've taken off in uh, gusts of 30 mile... An or 30 uh, nautical mile winds. Ooh. Uh, or not winds, yeah. That's, that's when it becomes... <laughs> you know, landing in that type of uh, wind is... Is very challenging. Is it scary? It can be, yeah. You get knocked around when you're really close to the ground. Yeah. You know, you're you're just don't you know you're maybe 100 feet off the ground, lined up with the runway, and then all of a sudden your plane's, you know, at a 45 degree bank. Ooh. You know that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it feels that way. Right. Lawrence traffic system 999 Hotel Victor is clear of runway 19, taxiing back to the FBO via Charlie. Lawrence. Not sure where they want me to park this with big planes. I'm guessing I just go over to the left and we can walk a little further. No. <laughs>
So do you just go up to practice? Yep. How often do you do that? Uh, I just go up about once a month to, you know, kind of keep proficient with what I'm doing. Well, then I'm glad I got to be here. Yeah. Flaps up, strobes. Lights are off. Alright, ELT silent, avionics, turn those off. Windows are off. <coughs> Faster is off. Fuel. That was really cool, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you went up with Now, me. 